Hey everybody, after I posted my last um, video, um, a number of you asked me to talk a little bit more about opera and how I got into it. Um, don't mind the noise and the people walking in the background, I'm at school again. Yeah, how I got into opera and just want to know a little bit about it. So I will tell you. So um, first of all, when I joined, uh, I went to HBCU for my first degree. And um, when I joined the choir, my I joined the choir just a few weeks, you know, during the first semester. So after school had started. Um, and you have to audition and sing for the director in order to join the choir. So I did that. And I wasn't expecting anything great. I just wanted to get in the choir and sing. Um, a few weeks later, my choir director told me he needed to see me in his office. And I was like, oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so um, when I went to his office, he told me that he wanted me to audition for a solo of a piece by, is it by Roland Carter? I think it's by Roland Carter. Um, and it's called, You Must Have That True Religion. So um, I told him that I had stage fright and he probably couldn't trust me with the solo because I might embarrass him and the rest of the choir by messing it up. <laughs> but he made me audition anyway. So the way you audition was um, you learn the solo piece, the solo part, and then um, during choir rehearsal, um, he has the people he, you know, that sounded good sing the solo with the choir and then he chooses from there. So um, I was, you know, it was my first year and I was put up against old upperclassmen and he ended up choosing me. Um, not because I was the best or amazing, but because he saw a lot of potential in me. And um, the first couple times I sang it, I was scared to death. And <laughs> like literally my knees would be shaking and everything. But um, from there, I started getting a lot more solos and therefore I started getting more practice singing in front of people and I became more confident. Um, so the summer of 2006, I stayed at school and worked um, during the summer and I took voice lessons with him. I started taking voice lessons with him and he introduced me to spirituals, you know, solo spiritual repertoire. And I think the first one was well, there were a couple that summer, but the only one I remember is um, sometimes I feel like a motherless child. <clears throat> so, um, you know, and I learned those pieces. Um, eventually, he introduced me to my first Italian art song, um, and it's called Caro Mio Ben. And any of you who've ever studied Italian vocal music, solo music, probably know that song because it's like the first song everyone learns and I thought I was so special learning <laughs> this Italian piece now now we make fun of it like because it's just so simple but to me it was really complex <laughs> so yeah I started learning different um, pieces and eventually um oh that same summer or something like that I think it was that summer or the next summer one of those I, either way I continued taking voice lessons up until I graduated Four years later and um summer of 2000 yeah summer of 07 um an opera singer who was a graduate of that school my school um came to do a fundraiser sing for a fundraiser and i met her because i randomly just was going to go to an event that the choir was singing at to support but since it was during summer i wasn't required to attend. Anyway, I met her and she heard me sing and she said, well, I have this program where I take students to study in Italy and I want you to come. So that fall semester, I auditioned, I was accepted. Um, I spent the next like six or eight months raising $4,000 to get there by singing at events on campus. I gave a recital, a uh, Christmas recital at home. I wrote letters to my family members and all of that kind of stuff so I could get to Italy because my parents don't have $4,000 to give me, you know, just write a check. We ain't got it like that. So, <laughs> so, so yeah, I went to Italy. I lived in Pisa for a month um, on the you know, where the Leaning Tower is. <laughs> um, I got to visit Rome, Florence, two times, and uh, Venice. Rome and Venice once, Florence twice. And it was, it was the best thing 
That was one of the best summers of my life because I got to see things that I never ever thought I would see in my life. I mean, things that I saw in elementary school and history books that I never really imagined I could go there if I felt like it. Who is this? <laughs> you want to say hi? My YouTube channel. It's not live, it's gonna be a minute. <laughs> I'll be done in a minute. <laughs> he wants to use a practice room for music. My music is for making videos. Okay, anyway. So yeah, at that point I decided I was gonna be an opera singer. Like I thought of that before because my teacher had exposed me to opera, but um that just sealed the deal for me because I, my it was most comfortable, you know, in my voice. And for most part, when you're singing opera, it's positive music. I mean, it's real life stories. It's not all, you know, talking about positive things. Sometimes it's about, you know, hatred. Sometimes it's about death. But in general, it's not like anything my parents would be, you know, disgraced by or anything like that. And I don't have to go around in slutty clothes hopping along the stage, singing, cussing, and all that BS. Like, no, <laughs> that just said BS. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my, my family wouldn't be ashamed for anything I would have to do with opera, prayerfully. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, it was just the best fit for me. Um, so from that point, oh, my school did not have um, music as a major. So I decided I would pursue a major that would help me with music that wasn't music because I had transferred to that school. So I wasn't willing to transfer again to be a music major. Now that I'm a music major, I'm glad I made that decision because I wasn't ready in 2007 or eight to be a music major. I wasn't, it takes a lot of discipline and maturity and I wasn't at that level yet. So um, I decided, you know, to study sales and marketing because I knew that would help me and also give me backup plan. And um, when I graduated, oh, before I graduated, obviously I was researching different schools. And in 2009, I applied to four different schools and um, was accepted and uh, auditioned in 2010 and received scholarships to three out of the four schools, scholarship offers. And, and now I'm attending the one that gave me the most money. <laughs> and it's such a blessing because I have the best vocal teacher that, you know, that is out there for me. I mean, he may not be the best for other people, but for me, he's the best. I mean, and he has some very successful former students that have won the Metropolitan Opera Competition. And I guess I can get into that kind of stuff later in, in a different video, but that's how I got into it. Um, I know it was the best decision. It really wasn't, I didn't choose to sing opera. It really did choose me, um, but it's a blessing. It's taken me to three different countries, four different countries. Yeah, four different, it, outside of this country. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm really blessed because, you know, I stuck with the talent God gave me and I'm using it the way I feel he wants me to. And yeah, and I'm happy. So if you have any more questions, just let me know and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.